Hey everybody, we're going to talk about Spider-Man Far From Home themes today. Uh, no spoilers again. This is just spoilers for Spider-Man Far From Home. Not the new movie, not Homecoming. I mean, we'll talk about Homecoming, I'm sure, as well. So if you haven't seen that one, go watch uh, my breakdown of that as well. But today we're going to talk about Far From Home. It's kind of a listening guide for the new one of what themes you should be listening for. Uh, the movie hasn't come out in my world yet, so I haven't seen it. So certainly no spoilers. Uh, but let's jump in. We're going to start with the theme from Homecoming, which was the Stark Responsibility uh, theme. Now, remember, between these two movies, there is no more Tony Stark. So uh, that is a big deal, right? Uh, here was the Iron Man theme um, from Homecoming, the like uh, Tony Stark responsibility bestowed upon Spider-Man theme. It went like this. Okay. And it was played a couple different ways. The first one was like, I am mad at you as a father figure because you are uh, putting yourself in danger. And then when Spider-Man helps them save uh, the shipment from old Avengers Tower to the upstate Avengers compound, uh, then all of a sudden the tune changed. It was now in major. Right? It was basically the theme to now be like, you actually deserve the responsibility and... Um, and you did a good job. So I'm gonna show you a couple clips from Homecoming just to jog your memory. Sounds like this. I think you've done enough. Right, that's the minor one. Like, boo. And now here's the good one. The end of the movie. In order to talk about how it happens at Far From Home, uh, we have to get our hearts broken again. Mysterio and uh, Spider-Man are sitting down at the bar after the big fight, and uh, Peter Parker's like, you know, Stark trusted me with Edith, but the note said, I trust you um, with the next Iron Man. And he's saying like, I think what that meant was, I get to decide who is the next. And he's like, from everything I've seen, it's you. Just remember, at this point in the movie, we have no reason to, to think that's wrong either. And so what we hear during this is the responsibility. So to understand this score, if you remember the storyline, like we are deceived a lot in this storyline, um, the score actually goes through the eyes of the hero most of the time. So if the hero is deceived, we also are in the leitmotifs. So in this case, it's like, this feels like a good idea in the moment. And the theme is like, wow, this is like a really good responsibility and you're, you're acting on it and you're doing a good job because it feels like you are. And so that's why that theme is, is played again. Uh, and it's not like sinister, like, oh, you're making a mistake because it doesn't feel like you are in the moment. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's check out the Spider-Man theme. So let's just remember what it was. <laughs> Sometimes it goes up, and then sometimes it goes something like that. There's so many examples of it with the playful version, right? Uh, or the hero version. Uh, I'm just going to show you a whole bunch of examples. I have a plan. Okay, first, I'm going to sit next to MJ on the flight. Mm. Second, I'm going to buy a dual headphone adapter and watch movies with her the whole time. Okay. Three. When we go to Venice, Venice is super famous for making stuff out of gold.
here? What's going on? Excuse me. Sorry, that's Italian. Edith? I think it's the same. How often is this? This is sentimental because he's being scolded. The guard is on a break. Probably talking Another to his Netherlands version. Yeah, she's pregnant. Oh, yeah? Huh? <laughs> yeah? There you go. <laughs> the theme's getting a lot bigger now as he's becoming the hero. that moment with her screaming at the end uh so that's our hero theme right but there's there's a couple moments where it combines with other things uh, i'll show you some later but here's one it's uh with the avenger theme y'all remember it right this in the storyline is the moment when they're on happy's plane um he realizes what's going on and so he has to go save his friends but he doesn't have the suit and he doesn't have edith and he's like uh, like, we don't have any resources, what are we going to do? And that's when the Avengers theme combined with the Spider-Man theme plays. Uh, there's lots of different interpretations of this. You could say that it kind of mimics, like, the Avengers thing, where it's like, oh, we're, we are the outnumbered uh, people, and we have to overcome the obstacles. That's one version. Another version is they <laughs> he realizes we have all of the resources of the Avengers. Like, there's this incredible, like, studio, 3D printing studio on the plane uh and then the third version is that it's like spider-man becoming you know re remembering the hero that he is and that he is an avenger uh he fought thanos <laughs> Back in the 
Spider-Man's theme. Uh, so it combines with some other stuff, but we have to talk about the other stuff first. So we have Mysterio's theme. We're going to start with the hero theme. This is a lot like uh, what happened in uh, Homecoming. We had the vulture before he was the vulture, right? Um, he was just a guy and he had good intentions and then he turned into a villain. It's like that in the music. It's not like that in the storyline, right? Like in the music, you have this hero, Mysterio, uh, who ends up being a villain and you don't realize it yet. Uh, but musically, it's the same because now we have the hero version of the theme when we think he's a hero and we have the villain theme. So here's the hero theme. And it's it's honestly an amazing hero theme. Here's a couple moments where it happens. Mr. Beck. Mysterio? What? Doesn't matter. It's just what my friends have been calling me. Well, you can call me Quentin. But you handled yourself well out there today. I saw what you did with. You're not a jerk for wanting okay, a Okay, this is life interesting. Too. It's Mysterio's theme playing, right? It's a hard path. So he's in control. You see Remember, things, that's you what do these things, mean. Make choices. People look up to you. Even if you win a battle, sometimes they die. I like you, Peter. You're a good kid. There's a part of me that wants me to tell you to just turn around, run away from all this, and then there's another part of me that knows what we're about to fight. With that gnarly synth. Come on. Of course we were fooled, okay? Of course we were fooled. The music is so, so convincing uh, during those moments where he's acting heroically. Now, we can combine that with the Spider-Man hero theme. So we have the Mysterio hero theme and we have the Spider-Man hero theme. And we have the Mysterio hero theme. So when they are fighting together, and again, as the audience and as the hero, we think we're fighting together and we're both heroes, uh, we can combine those themes and it's, it's really epic. It sounds like this.
right? So the, the two themes intertwining, we really, really feel like they're working together, both on screen and musically, and they are. And so uh, very deceiving. There's one other moment that really, really just kind of twists the knife, which is um, when he gives Edith over to Mysterio. Um, he's saying, like, literally, he's like, you're an Avenger now. Like, you're amazing. Here you go. You're an Avenger now. And uh, we hear Mysterio's theme combined with uh, the Avenger theme. that guy so again in that moment we feel very fine with that decision the next one i want to show you let's do it's like the manipulation and deception theme uh there's a couple moments where mysterio is telling like a story like oh yeah the elementals they killed my family and that kind of stuff and he's like um putting on an act uh to manipulate these characters and that sounds like this like super something like that uh, but it's this like three to two interval um, that is really 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 um, evocative of this kind of deception and this is one of the moments where like if you knew that at the time the music is kind of leading you down that road the one that destroyed my earth it's the one that took my family And it will be in Prague in approximately 48 hours. We have one. This is when they think he sacrificed himself. So those are like the deception moments when you hear that. Like you're being deceived, you're being manipulated. And then we have the full Mysterio villain theme. Remember before, this was the hero version. Okay. So the villain version is pretty interesting. It does the first F. And then it goes into minor, of course. But then, instead of going down to the next... Uh, version it starts there it just restarts and it gives it this lifting motion of just like tension 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 and so it would uh, you can go on forever which is they do sometimes then the minor and then we start there and then we start there and then we start there So here are the examples of the villain theme and see how it uh, progresses throughout his arc. Okay, this one's interesting. Right? So he knows something's up here. His Peter Tingle's going. 
we don't know for sure it's not the full like mysterio theme like you're being played it's it's just like little senses of it and so that's a really interesting one that like the music's trying to trying to help you a little bit um it's not like the nick fury theme there which there is we'll get to that later um and then now now we get into the big battles right uh and so now here's the full villainous mysterio theme one of the people that works for Mysterio is the one that's like acting as the bus driver. Uh, we hear Mysterio's theme. So uh, that's another cue to know like, okay, like Mysterio's plan is in action here and we should know that. We got a bus all to ourselves. Nice to see you all. Come along. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I have the kids. And then back to true villain. Mysterio's theme is playing, so he's in control, even though Happy's there, and that's why, (laughs) that's why this happens. (laughs) Who has the upper hand? Right now it's Mysterio. And then there's one more time it plays. Even after his death scene, we hear Mysterio's theme. Uh, and so this is that kind of end credit scene. Real blockbuster. Brace yourselves. You might want to sit down. Spider-Man's real. Spider-Man's real name is... Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. Remember, we combined the Spider-Man hero theme with the Mysterio hero theme. Well, we do that again. So when they were working together, the themes were working together. When they're fighting, the themes fight. And that sounds like this. Right? I love when they interact. That's my favorite, favorite part. Next, we have the love theme. Uh, It's a completely different theme from the love theme in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. That was his romance with Liz, and they never really did anything. He would just be like, hey, let's go to the dance. Just kidding, I'm going to be Spider-Man. Hey, let's go to DC. Just kidding, I'm going to be Spider-Man. So this one is with MJ, and it is... Oh, such a gorgeous theme. It really, really makes us feel like he's in love with her uh, in a way that the other one, uh, I think, didn't because he wasn't. So, sounds like this. beautiful uh so here are the examples i found but it's a tearjerker Pretty too. Thank you. Oh my gosh, opera glasses! So cute. Can I just want to go in on a pair? You mean let's sit next to each other? Yeah. Are you in position? No. Okay. No. Why the hell you not? You don't want to sit next to me, or no? You, you just don't want to take glasses? <laughs> I didn't mean that. I, uh, uh, if you go ahead, I'll go grab us a pair. 
I'll save you a seat next to me because I'm also out of seats, so I'll be up there. Okay. <laughs> Heartbreaking. And this is after the big elemental fight, but before uh, he finds out who Mysterio really is. Hello. And then we have one right at the end uh, where we're on the bridge. It starts out in uh, this G major. So we were in A. G. But it has this kind of, you know, settled feeling uh, all of a sudden here. And then all of a sudden at the big kiss, it's sweeping romantic violins and it's Tchaikovsky and it goes back to A. beautiful theme makes up for the homecoming romance uh because that one sucked so there's our mj and peter parker love theme it's so pretty and finally i'm gonna leave you with uh, a really nice theme for nick fury i don't know that we really had a true nick fury theme uh, I've seen little snippets of things throughout my Avengers breakdowns. This is a true Nick Fury theme. Sounds like this. Really nice. This is through the eyes of the hero. Nick Fury is rarely Nick Fury in this movie. So we see him at the beginning and it's like, okay... It's actually Nick Fury, but it's actually Talos. Uh, fine. But we hear Nick Fury's theme. We see him, and it's actually Mysterio. And we hear Nick Fury's theme. So anytime we are supposed to think it's Nick Fury, it's Nick Fury's theme. And you just shot Ned. Just a mild tranquilizer. He'll be all right. So good to finally meet you. Stark left these for you. Really? And then this one, it's not quite right. It's a little bit more minor uh, because we, as the hero, are starting to realize that this is probably still an illusion. And then finally, in the end credits, 
we see the actual Nick Fury, we think, probably, probably, right? Uh, and we finally hear his theme there, uh, solidifying that it was his theme the whole time. It was just other people cosplaying as him. So there you have it, Spider-Man Far From Home. Some beautiful, beautiful themes. Be listening for these in the new movie. Again, I haven't seen it yet, so certainly no spoilers here. Comment below, but if you uh, have any spoilers, make sure you write spoiler warning in it or else I will delete the comment. This is a safe place. Um, and then, yeah, listen for these themes. MJ love theme, I'm sure will be there. Um, it'd be really cool if we hear that, um, that Stark responsibility theme again. It'd be really cool if we hear the Fury theme. If we hear the Nick Fury theme, uh, I'm gonna start screaming in the theater. So very excited. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, you can check out my other breakdowns. I did, again, one from Homecoming. I did uh, one from all uh, most of the Avenger movies. I did every episode of Loki. And then we ended with a um, conversation with the composer herself, Natalie Holt, which was really fun. So lots of really cool stuff to come. If you like this, make sure you subscribe and like and do all the stuff. And if you want to support me, you can go over to patreon.com slash classical trombone. You can hear my own music. I've got an album called Half Men, Half Machine on all the things. And that sounds a little something like that.